So in the last update, I noted that the interior rear quarter panels that I'd reupholstered, again, do I Y quality, so uh, no, uh, no flack for that, that they didn't appear to fit properly. And if you look here at how straight the panel is here, and it fits well forward and into where it needs to go, Sorry, it's black, so it's a little little tougher to come through. And I got the angle right, for the most part, uh, for meeting the sail window trim. Nonetheless, if you look from the outside, you can see there's a gap that runs up. And I'll go inside so you can see it as well. There's a clear gap running here between the quarter panel and the sail window trim that runs all the way up. And despite uh, pushing against the panel to see if I can get it to form close to the sail window, the best I can do is get it within maybe an inch. So I'm not sure if this interior quarter panel was uh, sourced in the past as a replacement uh, and is the wrong part. So perhaps these quarter panels come in different sizes, I don't know. But uh, obviously, after all the work on upholstering, yeah, it's a tough thing to find. But I've come up with a sol solution that I feel uh, really good about that I think fits the rest of the interior. Now, I used up forward here, it's difficult to see, but behind those seats, as well as I move around, you can see carpeting that I picked. Again, it's Industrial Runner that I found at Home Depot. And while it may not last forever, if it doesn't last very long, uh, it's only a couple of dollars a foot. So what I opted to do was to find a way to close the gap uh, as artistically as I could. And I did so, a little hard to see with the reflection, but I did so with uh, some of that runner carpet remnant. It's in there temporarily now for fitment, but what I've opted to do is to lay that down and it looks to me pretty good and like it could be something that is uh, factory. And it all again fits together with the carpets that are farther forward and it's dark in theme and so on. And it would allow me to properly secure the rear quarter panels that I do have instead of spending $500 to $1,500 on new rear quarter panels, which is outside the budget. So as I continue to secure things, I will give some other updates, but uh, pretty excited about the option here, or excuse me, about what I'm gonna try to do here artistically. I'm gonna use contact cement to get that down. And I think it came out uh, in this at least quick mock-up uh, looking pretty good.